Organizations which are independent of government involvement are known as non-governmental organizations or non-government organizations. With NGO as an acronym, NGOs are a subgroup of organizations founded by citizens, which include clubs and associations that provide services to their members and others. NGOs are usually non-profit organizations, and many of them are active in humanitarianism or the social sciences. Surveys indicate that NGOs have a high degree of public trust, which can make them a useful proxy for the concerns of society and stakeholders. However, NGOs can also be lobby groups for corporations, such as the World Economic Forum. According to Go.org, any non-profit, voluntary citizens group which is organized on a local, national or international level, task-oriented and driven by people with a common interest, NGOs perform a variety of service and humanitarian functions, bring citizen concerns to governments, advocate and monitor policies and encourage political participation through provision of information. Russia had about 277,000 NGOs in 2008. India is estimated to have had about 2 million NGOs in 2009. Many more than the number of the country's primary schools and health centers. The term NGO is used inconsistently. It is sometimes a synonym for a civil society organization any association founded by citizens. NGOs are known in some countries as non-profit organizations, and political parties and trade unions are sometimes considered NGOs. NGOs are classified by orientation and level of operation. Orientation refers to the type of activities an NGO undertakes. Activities may include human rights, consumer protection, environmentalism, health, or development. An NGO's level of operation indicates the scale at which an organization works. Local, regional, national, or international, NGOs may be classified by their orientation and level of operation. Similar terms include third sector organization, civil society organization, private voluntary organization. In Portuguese, Spanish, French, Italian and other Romance languages, the synonymous abbreviation ONG is in use. Other acronyms include NGOs further the political or social goals of their members, improving the natural environment, encouraging the observance of human rights, improving the welfare of the disadvantaged, or representing a corporate agenda. Their goals cover a wide range of issues. The World Bank classifies NGO activity as operational and advocacy. NGOs act as implementers catalysts, and partners. They mobilize resources to provide goods and services to people who have been affected by a natural disaster. They drive change and partner with other organizations to tackle problems and address human needs. NGOs vary by method. Some are primarily advocacy groups and others conduct programs and activities. Oxfam, concerned with poverty alleviation may provide needy people with the equipment and skills to obtain food and drinking water. The Forum for Fact-Finding Documentation and Advocacy helps provide legal assistance to victims of human rights abusers. The Afghanistan Information Management Services provide specialized technical products and services to support development activities implemented on the ground by other organizations. Management techniques are crucial to project success. Operational NGOs seek to achieve small-scale change directly through projects, mobilizing financial resources, materials, and volunteers to create local programs. They hold large-scale fundraising events and may apply to governments and organizations for grants or contracts to raise money for projects. Operational NGOs often have a hierarchical structure. Their headquarters are staffed by professionals who plan projects, create budgets, keep accounts, and report to and communicate with operational field workers on projects. They are most often associated with the delivery of services or environmental issues, emergency relief, and public welfare. Operational NGOs may be subdivided into relief or development organizations, service delivery or participatory, religious or secular, and public or private. Although operational NGOs may be community-based, many are national or international. The defining activity of an operational NGO is the implementation of projects.
campaigning NGOs seek to achieve large-scale change promoted indirectly through the influence of the political system. They require an active, efficient group of professional members who can keep supporters informed and motivated. Campaigning NGOs must plan and host demonstrations and events which will attract media. Their defining activity, campaigning NGOs often deal with issues related to human rights, women's rights, and children's rights, and their primary purpose is to defend a specific cause. NGOs may conduct both activities. Operational NGOs will use campaigning techniques if they face issues in the field which could be remedied by policy change and see.